Well, I want to talk about what happens when a hive goes queenless. This hive, I think, has been queenless for about a month. Uh, it started showing signs of failure, uh, just getting smaller and smaller, less and less brood. Uh, so I knew something was going on. And last time I checked it, it looked like they had no queen and they were starting to get robbed a little bit. So uh, this was a feral hive. This was the hive, the open air hive that I collected from uh, Norwalk last year. And uh, it's lasted about a year. So it was August last year that I collected this and now it's pretty much done. So we're gonna get into this and see what it looks like and talk about remedies. So one of the traits of this particular hive and this breed, this particular genetic strain of bees is that they like to store an excessive amount of pollen. So they have this top box is mostly honey so it's just going to come off good number of bees in there now before we decide 100 percent that they're queenless i'm going to get into the bottom box and just double check to make sure there's no eggs because if they have requeened themselves in the last two weeks I don't want to put another queen in here and have them fight. So we're gonna get in here and take a few frames out and see what's going on. I can see on top here what looks like wax moth damage, yep. So wax moths have gotten in here. You'll notice these webbings here those are probably larva encasings here so what happens is with a decent sized hive like this when they go queenless they can't really defend all the comb anymore that's a pupa there for a wax moth and here's a larva so they'll start to get overrun by pests and uh, a lot of this comb has just got to be cut a little bit because it's just gonna it's just infested. Look at all that wax moth. So what I can do and what I'm planning on doing is installing a nuke in here and let them get in here and enjoy the uh, what's left of here, the goodies in here, like this pollen. The reason the wax moths are in here because there's all this pollen and they eat that and they get in there and they lay their eggs in it and then they hatch and you get all these little nasty wormies so there's still a fair amount of pollen though in this hive and there's honey so my hope is by installing a nuke in here with a good healthy queen they'll get in here and they'll start to build up really well because they have lots of resources so let's more wax moth damage. It's not too, too bad. I mean, there's a fair amount, but it's not all the way through the comb. So some of this is lost, but we'll see what the rest of it looks like. What I'll probably do is take out these combs and replace them with the combs from my nuke so that they're not fighting all these wax moths. You can see these are foundationless. So these were transfers from the uh, original hive last year. So I'm gonna pull these foundationless frames out. We've got a five frame going in there, so we'll pull five. That's all pollen. There's a hive beetle. Oops. Hive beetle in here, crawling around. Not too many hive beetles, thank God, but they'll lay their eggs in there too. So this is a good keeper frame. So we got one, two, three, four. Take this one out. Or this one, let's see. A lot of food in there, not a lot of wax moth damage. Let's see what's up with this one. 
yeah, that's a good one to take out. It's gonna go towards the edge. That's food. That's food. And we got five here. One, two, three, four, five. We grab the nuke. This guy. First, see a bunch of these here. Now they may fly out and be fussy, so we're about to see. You can see the little antenna coming out of there. We go the other way. Oops, sorry, little bee. My bad. So let's back up a little bit, let them do their thing. They're probably going to be a little frustrated. Going to give them a little smoke. Help keep them calm. Bummer. Killed a couple. All right, we're going to give them a few minutes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open this up and let it set for about two minutes. They don't seem to be too agitated, so we're gonna see what happens when we pull this open. Hopefully, they didn't overheat on the trip over here. These bees are all from uh, a really good queen who is really calm. So I haven't really had much problems with these bees being aggressive. And this is really good behavior, especially for having just been transported. So I'll take it. I am not upset about that. And this is a six frame loop, not a five frame. So I've got to pull one more. frames and we'll take them in the same order they are here we'll go in here we may even see the queen we'll see Let's see if there's eggs there are a few eggs in here, which is awesome. Got some brood, so that'll be helpful. I got a few eggs. Blank foundation here. That really probably needs to be towards the edge, but I'll do that with it. <laughs> Queen may be here. Let's see if we can find her. There's a bee emerging in the middle there, just hatching out of its cell. Brand new baby bee. And then they'll instantly go and start cleaning out cells when they're born. Their first job is to clean cells out. Let's see, we'll keep looking for the queen. I don't think she's on here.
drawn comb. Kind of rearranging these. I said I was going to put them in the order they were in, but this brood should be in the center, really. They've sort of favored the side, probably for warmth, but see if we can find she. she could be in the box, too. I don't see her here. I'm not going to spend too much time. She has a white dot. I'm just gonna see if I can see her in here. Yes. Oh, she doesn't have a dot. She's not marked. She's hard to see. She's right here. There's, there is she. So I'm gonna just shake her in here. know for a fact we have a new queen so we've got plenty of resources in this hive and this hopefully will give this hive a fighting chance and these bees a good chance to build up so I'm gonna give them a few weeks and then come back and take another look at them and see if our fix worked so tune in next time and we'll see what happens <laughs>